Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to cover the LOS, calculate the approximate percentage price change for a bond given the bond's effective duration and a specified change in yield. Now as a prerequisite to this video, you are expected to know how to calculate the effective duration. Now this LOS is extremely important from the perspective of a portfolio manager. They use duration as an estimate for the change in a bond's price all the time. In your exam, you have a 50-50 chance that you might see a question from here. Now we've already seen that duration is basically defined as the negative of the change in price for a change in yield. Now if we rearrange this equation, you get delta P is equal to negative of the duration times delta Y. So the change in price of a bond is equal to the duration times the change in yields with a negative sign. Now of course this equation is basically an approximation. If you'd like a more accurate estimate, you can use the duration convexity approach. And if you would like an accurate or the exact answer, you would use the full valuation approach. The duration approach is most appropriate when delta y is small. Let's solve a question based on this LOS. In this question, you're given that you have a bond of 7.8 years and they gave you that the interest rates fell by 25 basis points and you are asked to find the approximate percentage price change. Now, using the formula, delta P is equal to minus D times the change in yield. So substituting the duration, so 7.8 years, times minus 0 0.0025, which represents 25 basis points, that equals to 1.95%. So A is your answer. So we've come to the end of this LOS. Thank you.